Absolutely. Awesome. Only one, though, Rich. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. Um, how'd you feel? I mean, you, you said a lot had to be done last week to improve for this week. So after a week back on the field, how did it look? The intensity was better. We'll look at the film and find out if the effort had, has improved. I, I, didn't, I wasn't pleased with the effort, just playing hard from snap to whistle, getting up off the ground, chasing the ball, chasing balls in the air, those kinds of things. Uh, and hopefully that improved. We've got some things that we did really well. We had some big plays on offense, which is positive. That's a negative for the defense. We had some negative yardage plays against the offense. That's positive for our D and obviously a bad sign for the offense. We had some foolish penalties, guys on false starts on offense, jumped off sides on a third and four on a freeze play. Uh, just silly stuff like that. Some drop passes, some fumbles. So some things that we really got to clean up. We just, we've got to get better fundamentally, blocking and sustaining blocks, getting off of blocks, making tackles, not missing them. So a lot needs to be done. We're still a work in progress, and we don't play anybody else this spring. That's the good news. But we've, we've got to improve before spring is done. I'd really like to see us take another step this coming week and get us prepared for the summer. What's that step? And you mentioned there's one more week. And you don't supposed play anyone else. supposed to be one question, Rich. Go ahead. Sorry. What's, what, the one, you got one more week. So what are those things? What are those things you're looking to see this week heading into the 12th? We likely won't do a whole lot different uh, than we've been going here the last couple of weeks, just trying to get better on the base stuff. But we've got to get other things in that, that we won't want our guys to work on in the summertime. One minute offense, uh, so putting them in a situation where we've got to drive the ball in a hurry without, you know, without huddling. The same on the defense. Uh, we're going to play some teams that go really, really fast, that don't huddle, and we'll be in situations defensively where it's uh, end of the half or end of the game and the offense is moving really quick. So that's a situation uh, that all the end of the game, end of the half, Hail Mary plays. Um, special teams wise, there's a lot of things, a lot of situational football that, that comes up that we haven't practiced yet. I'd like to get it in just so that's not December and the next time we work on it again is August, that our guys kind of refresh their memories. So some of those things that we'll probably take away from our normal day-to-day -day fundamentals and routine, but, but still things that I think are essential. Thanks. Thank you, Coach. You got it, my man. Hey, Coach, you're working on uh, rebuilding the defensive line, and uh, I saw Rod Stoddard out there. Who are some other uh, candidates uh, who are stepping up on your defensive line? I think Jacob Covington's doing a really good job. Quibina Bonsu has been in there. Uh, I was really impressed with Jake Ellington until he got hurt. He, he, got, he got banged up in last week's scrimmage and didn't practice this week and through today. But I, I think he's going to be back next week. I'm hopeful he will be because I was really – uh, really excited about him. Patterson's been out all spring. I anticipate him coming back as we get into August and preseason camp. So there's some guys there that I think are developmental. Um, Connor Smith has been injured, and so he's out right now. I think he's going to be a candidate. Um, there, there's Maybe there's some guys that haven't quite got there this spring but might come around uh, in the fall. So. There's enough guys to work with, and that's uh, that's encouraging. You've got Cole Christensen back on the linebacker core, but you've got to find some some uh, teammates there. Who are the, the players stepping up at uh, the, the inside and outside linebacker positions? We've been particularly impressed with Eric Smith. I think he's had a good spring, and uh, will likely find himself at least with an opportunity to challenge for the starting position. Ryan Parker, Kamonte Yao, um, Radigan. Aaron Jones, Wilson Cato. There's some guys there that are developmental that we're bringing along. And some are sophomores and uh, going to be juniors, and some are just freshmen going to be sophomores. So there's enough young guys there to develop, and it, that, that's, a, that's a good sign for us. The final group, defensive backs. You've got a couple players coming back, but uh, some hard-hitting uh, defensive plays by the secondary today, I saw. I'm impressed with, uh, with a young guy, Malcolm Morrison. He's had a really good spring camp. Um, Caleb John, uh, Kaya Miranda, all freshmen going to be sophomores. I think that's really a, a good group of, of young players. Elijah Riley, having him back is, is big. Javari Bordeaux played a little bit in, in uh, 
in, in some of the individual stuff this week. So hopefully we're going to get him back off of injury. And, and there's, there's some veteran guys, but there's some young guys that are thinking are, are impressing us enough that they're likely going to have, have themselves plenty of opportunities to play in the fall. Yeah, the coaches clinic uh, this week. Several of the coaches here from Maine to Philadelphia. We had a chance to say hello to. Uh, how do you enjoy that? Oh, we love having the coaches here and just the opportunity to to talk to other coaches and get ideas and and maybe be able to share some of our ideas. And ultimately, it just helps the young people that are playing this sport. And that it, that's exciting to me that that uh, we've got we had over 200 coaches here, coaches that are interested in in helping their people develop their 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 young players that uh, that are on their teams and it's uh it's fun for us to know that information that we share with them might be able to be used at their schools to help those players improve and, and enjoy the game more so it's a lot of fun thanks coach good to see you coach, uh, Jack really started to come on and, and I thought last year there were there were spots where he showed up, particularly on special teams. He played some defensive snaps. He's a very athletic guy, and he struggled his first two seasons here with injury. And he was frustrated, and uh, and we were too for him. And uh, and I'm, I'm I'm glad to see him really becoming the veteran player that we hoped he would. And because he he missed so much of his freshman and sophomore year, I still think there's a lot of room for improvement for him. And that's really a positive that I think he's going to improve as we work toward preseason camp, as we go through the season, and 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 hopefully we'll continue to get better as the season goes along. How has the kicking uh, really showed up this uh, spring? Uh, David Cooper seems to be getting a lot of reps. So he's come kind of a guy who's worked his way up too. Coach Kreisel, I think, would tell you he's maybe the most improved guy of the whole specialist group: kickers, punters, snappers. Uh, we've been really impressed with him. I, I'm impressed with Potter and the way he's punting the ball. He's been a utility man. He's been a guy that we call him the Swiss Army knife. He's the holder. He's the the uh, the Aussie style punter. He could kick a field goal in a pinch, um, but he really had a great punt today. He had one last Saturday. So excited about him and and the job he's done. We got two veteran snappers back in Flanick and O'Connor, and and. To not have to have new guys at all those positions is nice. We're going to have a new kicker and a new punter, and uh, and that'll be a change. So sorting through that, we'll see as we go between now and when we play Rice. But I think Sawyer's still on top. Cooper has really closed the gap, uh, and it's probably a battle right now between Potter and and uh, Harding as the punter.